Hey, YouTube. Um, so this is my first ever tarot video. Um, my friend from that actually lives around here, he doesn't put videos on YouTube, and for that reason, I'm not going to put his YouTube name on the video. Um, but he also didn't want me to put the YouTube name on the video, and that's another reason. But this is the reading I did for him. He asked for a 12-card reading, um, a yearly spread. And my cat's going to walk all over the table, probably. So I'm just letting you guys know there's a random three-legged cat that comes across the screen. Um, so I've done it. And to start with, um, I started with January, even though January is almost over, because I feel like January is a good base month. If it was already, like, halfway through February, I wouldn't start with January. I would start with February. But my first month that I did was January. And January's card was the Five of Cups, which in this deck looks like this. Um, and the Five of Cups, for me, in this reading, um, what I basically think is that this month... In, he may have been thinking a little bit too much about the past to notice um, what's really going on in front of him and what his future possibilities are. And knowing him, I do see that there's a little bit of truth. So, February was the Nine of Coins, which in this deck looks like that. Um, and the Nine of Coins is a card all about money and wealth and security. But knowing this person very well, I know that their life isn't a lot about money. So though there are a lot of coins in this deck, I have kind of taken the meaning of wealth out of the monetary standpoint and put it into more of a prosperity kind of thing. Um, so, I have notes written down, so I'm basically just going to read them for the rest of the month because these are things that um, haven't happened yet, so I can't put a whole lot of personal insight into knowing him into them. Um, so, February, I said, Wealth, monetary or otherwise, and security could draw the attention of others and even cause you to see yourself in a more positive light. Um, and this, I feel, is something that um, he desperately needs at times because he tends to be kind of hard on himself. So, and that's February. March is ooh, the Emperor, which looks like this. Um, so March will be a time of clarity and rationality for him. Um, he may begin to successfully sift through his emotions and weed out the ones that are holding him back. Um, because the emperor is all about rationality and being emotionless, but being strong. Because it is a common thought. I don't necessarily share this thought, but it is a common thought that emotions are what make you weak. Um, so during March, it won't be about his emotions so much as it will be about logically getting through situations and making decisions. So April is the... Three of Coins, which looks like that, and in April, his past actions will begin to reap their rewards, and other people will begin to recognize that he's gaining those accomplishments, whether he wants them to or not, um, and this could be a good or a bad thing. Others recognizing your accomplishments could be very positive in the aspect that you are now being seen as the great and wonderful person that you can be and not just the you that you show everyone else. Um, but could it, it could also be negative and that's where the next month's card comes in. The card for May is Temperance. Looks like that. And the Temperance card is all about balance between the good and the bad. Balance between 
um, joy and sadness. Just basically all the attention, whether he wanted it or not, that he's been getting, it may or may not have started to go to his head. And if it has started to go to his head, then this month would be a time to remember that you can have too much of a good thing. And if you've had too much of a good thing, then you need to slow down or something very important to you or something very important about you that you consider one of the main attributes of your personality may have been lost. And that is never, ever a good thing. So June's card is the Two of Coins. And it looks like that. Um, and in June, it will be kind of like a bump in the positiveness that has been going around so far in his yearly reading. Um, because it's kind of a card of obstacles. Not obstacles that can't be overcome, but obstacles that may just seem too big to face or may seem too confusing to understand at the moment. But the most important lesson of this card is to remember to be flexible because when you reach a point where you don't think you can do it, you have to be flexible in your beliefs and try and find a way that maybe not be something that you would conventionally or normally do to reach your decision or whatever's going on. But if you're flexible, then you can still reach a good and happy conclusion. And July is the Seven of Coins. And the Seven of Coins looks like this. And the Seven of Coins is all about changing your luck. And I think that's a very appropriate card to come after the Two of Coins, which is about obstacles, because I feel that in July, his month, his his luck will turn in such a simple way that he might not even notice that it's turning because he's not really doing anything to make it better. Um, and I kind of, when I was writing my notes, I took the coin thing a little bit literally and was like, um... His luck will turn at one pivotal moment as seemingly effortless as finding a coin on the ground. And though he did not have to work for this, he should still remember to appreciate it. Um, because when you find, like, a penny on the ground, sometimes you just walk right over it and you're like, oh, it's a penny, I don't need it. But when you pick up that penny, that's a lucky thing. Not every day are you going to find a penny on the ground, and you should appreciate that gift that you have found that one coin and that one coin may someday be the coin that saves you from not having enough money to pay for something so and then August is the eight of swords which in this deck looks like this and I know you really can't see it there's some tied hands in the clouds and I love that imagery on this card but anyway past that <laughs> August will probably be a really difficult month, but not an unbearable month. Um, the important thing is to proceed carefully, um, but also to kind of push your conscious thoughts to the side. Not ignore them, but don't make them the solitary influence on where your decisions are coming from because... In this type of situation, conflicts between your emotions, your thoughts, and your intuition will only make things worse. So it'd be better if you only had the two things or maybe even the one thing competing with each other. And if there's only if you're only using either your emotions or your intuition to make your decision, then you are highly less likely to make a mistake. Um, then September is judgment, and judgment was reversed. This is what it looks like upside down, so judgment was reversed. And the traditional meaning of judgment is an ending, 
and a conclusion to a situation, not necessarily fulfilling your goals, but getting to the end where you're just about ready to call it quits and you're almost satisfied with the result. And with it being reversed and with the previous cards in mind, um, what I said is now that you have gotten through the trials of last month, successfully or not, it is time for putting that behind you and disregarding the opinions of others so that you can more easily move on. Because without it being a card of ending and conclusion, it leaves it open to this situation isn't done yet. But if you don't move on, then it'll never be done kind of situation. And October is the Six of Cups, which is like that. And the Six of Cups is a card about remembering the past. Um, and I feel like this is very similar to the first card in the fact that, um, and knowing this person, they do tend to fall back into remembering the past whenever they get kind of down or whenever something bad happens. And a lot of people tend to do that because it's just a fail-safe option. If you think about your past, you don't have to worry about what's going on. But thinking about the past can both help you, but it more likely will hurt you. Because when you think about the past, too much, it becomes a hindrance on moving forward, and if you're not moving forward and you're not making progress, then the whole point of even really existing isn't there anymore. Um, so November's card is Justice, which I love this card, but this is the Justice card. Um... So November for him will be about learning to balance his judgment of all things, including himself, on and in balancing how much he focuses on the past and the present and the future. And kind of intuitively, when I'm writing these notes down, sometimes the words I write down don't necessarily come from the card. Sometimes I just kind of hear them in my mind. And what I heard when I was about finished with this one was, you must not give up hope in receiving what you feel you deserve, but you also must not expect more. Um, and I, I really don't know what that means exactly, at least not at this moment, but it has to be significant at some point. So anyway, the last card of this reading is the sun for December, which is kind of weird because December's in the winter, but that's not the point. Um, this card is really gorgeous, um, but anyway, the sun card is about inspiration and success and basically coming back into positivity. Um, and what I said for him was, something this month will inspire you, and because of it, you will become much more driven to succeed in whatever you are doing. And I feel like this inspiration probably comes from within himself more than it will come from an outside source because of the previous card about learning balance. When you learn balance and you learn to put your emotions and things aside from other previous cards, then it's very easy to do something that inspires you. Um, recently, I've been working a lot with the goddess Ma'at, and she has taught me the same things as the card Justice. And I have begun to inspire myself to work harder. And I feel like that's a lot to do with the lessons of the Justice card. So, overall, the year of 2012 will be a normal up-and-down year that everyone has, but it will also be a year of extreme personal growth, um, and this growth will be necessary more than 
Um, he probably realizes now, but I also feel like at the end of this year, he will be a better person because of the things he's gone through. So, that is all, and this is my first reading on YouTube, and I hope to be doing more. If you have watched this video and you would like a reading done, um, message me on here, send me a personal email at thaliaonyx2011 at yahoo.com, and I will get back to you. Um, I have this deck, and I do have an oracle deck, so um, if you would rather have an oracle reading, I can do those. So that's all for this video. Much love and bless thee.